guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, what we're going to be doing today is I want to make a Christmas gingerbread wreath for my kitchen. As you all know, I'm doing my kitchen in gingerbread this year and I've been so excited to start this. So let me show you what you'll need to make this really adorable little wreath, okay? I picked up this um, wreath at Walmart and I like things very cold living here in Florida. It stays so hot most of the time. So I bring the cool inside. <laughs> so um, I got this wreath and it was flocked and it was, it's a 24 inch wreath and it doesn't say how much it was, but I believe it was like $9 and something. I know almost it was, okay? So you'll need some sort of wreath. And then going with the gingerbread theme, I saw these little ornaments. So I picked up two of the little men gingerbreads and they were, can't remember, I think they were like, a dollar something they weren't much and then i picked up a little girl she's got the bow in her hair she's so adorable and then i just picked up the ornaments that looked like to me cookies i just thought that was so pretty the snowflake and then i picked up a tree and these weren't really expensive they were a dollar and something and some of them might have been even cheaper then I picked up this little snowman and they just all look like cookies to me. That, as a fact, it makes me hungry. Okay, and this one has a bell, looks like a bell cookie. And then I have another bell cookie, okay? Then um, I'm going to put a funky bow on top and I've already made that. So you'll just need, uh, because I've made so many, I can link a video that I did of a funky bow tutorial behind this. But one of you suggested that I go to Carolina Pottery, I believe it was. So that's where I picked this up, the little gingerbread ribbon, and I just loved it. It's so pretty, okay? So I got that, and then I picked this up there as well. I just thought that would make a really pretty bow. And then, as you all know, if you saw my haul, I picked this up at Old Time Pottery. So I combined the three of those and just made this really cute, funky bow to go on it. I think it's going to be really pretty. So you'll need a glue gun and some twist ties, okay? So let me get this right here, and I picked this up, um, I think it was in the spring or last fall sometime at Joann's on clearance. And you can find some really good deals, and it's really a good thing. And then I had my husband just put a little a screw right in here and it helps me with my wreaths to make my wreaths so I'm just going to hang this right on there like that and then I can see what I'm doing and I want to fluff this out so I'll go ahead and fluff this out and then when I get ready to start putting the ornaments on I'll be right okay, I like that pretty well it really didn't take much fluffing at all okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my glue gun and I'm just going to glue these ornaments on here. And I think huh, they're gonna be adorable. Okay, so I think I'm going to put the little female gingerbread right down here at the bottom. And I'm just going to glue her in here just hold her. You could also, through the little hole at the top of the gingerbread, you could um, put like something in there and hook, attach them there. If you wanted to do it like that, you definitely could do that. I've got lotion on my hand. Okay. Okay, I think she's really sweet. She is adhered, okay. Then I think I'm gonna put one of the guys over here. I know it's really hard for you to see, 
but I have to see too. That's the only problem. And I'm putting a good bit of glue and then I'm going to put him right here and just hold him. I love gingerbread. I'm so excited to get this decorated for Christmas, but I feel kind of, um, kind of torn. I feel like I'm leaving fall a little too early than I would normally leave it. I feel like it's almost getting forgotten. Oh, that's cute. Okay. But you do have to start making these early if that's how you're going to decorate. I mean, you do have to do it. Okay, then we'll put this one right across. We're going to snug him right in here. Okay, and that's what we're getting so far. I think it's so cute. Okay, now I want to put, I think I'm going to put a tree, a, like a tree maybe here. Let's look, a tree there. And then put this little cookie, like a snowflake cookie right there. Just kind of got to play around with it to see where you want it and how you want it. Then I could put my bell here and then I could put that snowman there. I may go ahead and put my ribbon on and I just have this still around the back, this little twist tie from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to slip that in. Let's see. I'm going to hook another piece on it. And then I can just thread that through. Then I'll know more what I want to do when I get that, that ribbon on there. Okay, now I'll see exactly where I want to put everything. And then I'll fluff my bow at a later date. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just put the little tree right up there. Just sort of nestle it in right there. <laughs> That's so cute. And then I think I may put alternate. I think I might. I think I'm going to put this one right down here at the bottom. And it helps if you put a good bit of glue. I'm just gonna stick that one right about there. That is so, it's really turning out to be very festive, I think. Okay, then I think, do I want the snowman or do I want the bell and the snowman down here? I think I like the snowman at the top. And if you wanted to do just all um, gingerbread, you definitely could. Very definitely could do that. <laughs> okay, and then we will put this bell right in here. Stick that right about there. Well, now we have cookies. And I may go see that's what we're getting so far, and I like it, but I feel like it maybe needs something else. This side's much fuller than over through here. I do have another cookie. 
I don't know. Let me go see and I'll be right back. Okay, I just moved this little gingerbread guy up a little bit. He doesn't have as much, um, I think that looks better. And then I'm just going to take this, kind of sneak that right down in there. And I think it'll all balance out. You could put berries in this if you wanted. I may go back to Walmart and see what else maybe I could find. Okay. All right, I'll show you what it looks like in just a sec. Okay, guys, here it is. I think it is so cute. It just looks so festive, I think. That's how it looks all the way down. And what I did is I moved this gingerbread man up some, and then I moved this bell down here and I like it a lot better like that. I think it turned out so adorable. Okay, I thought I'd hop on here really quick and give you an up close look at it because it was so hard to see. I just love the glitter on the gingerbread men and those little ornaments that look like cookies just look so frosty and cold. I just love how this turned out. And it's so easy and economical to make. If you would see this out at Hobby Lobby or anywhere else, Michaels, you would pay a lot of money for this. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.